is gonna be a short video, but anyways, um, last three matches I dealt with a bunch of survivors who literally ran in circles doing nothing the entire time. I was the one doing gins. They weren't even getting injured. They're just running in circles. It literally took three minutes for the killer to find them while I was the only one doing a gin, and then they finally go down each one. And, I'm the, and literally the whole time this match is still on, I'm the only one doing gins. Literally, only one. Second match. Killer tunnels me. Literally ignores everybody else. Like, seriously. Everybody else, he just ignores. Unless they're directly in front of him, he ignores them and comes straight for me every time. Third match. Killer somehow has psychic abilities. I doubt they're running Lethal Pursuer. In fact, I checked and they weren't. And somehow comes straight for me. I barely walked three feet from my spawn point. And here he comes, beelining straight for me as if he knew exactly where I was. I shouldn't be punished for this. There's no reason for me to be punished for this. If I don't want to deal with dumbass survivor teammates, a tunneling killer, or a cheating killer for that matter, I shouldn't be punished. That's the problem with this with this current lockout system. It locks you out indiscriminately, no matter the circumstance. It doesn't analyze the gameplay. It doesn't analyze what just happened. It goes, all right, you left early, you're punished. I understand what the system's here for. It's to punish players who raged with it. I get it. But I don't. But I'm not going to sit around and deal with a bunch of survivors. Well, I'm the only one doing the objective, and they're running in circles. I'm not going to give a killer who tunneled me the entire match the pleasure of getting the sack points. And I'm sure as hell not going to give a killer who tunneled, who, not not tunneled, who literally cheated to find me um, at the beginning of the match. The, the, the pleasure of hooking me. Now you might be listening to this thing, all oh, those are all stupid reasons. You can have that opinion. That's your opinion. But my thoughts on the matter are this. I should not be punished for any of those situations. Yeah, I know it's extra sure work to have a system that actually analyzes the gameplay to make the proper decision whether or not to um, give you a kick out or not on queuing. I get that. But guess what? You put in the extra effort and it makes things the right decision. Guess what? You got a much more happier player base who doesn't have to deal with the lockout because they left due to they're the, them being the only ones doing the objective. Or them getting tunneled the entire match. Or, worst case scenario, dealing with a cheater. Put in the work behavior, analyze, put in a system that analyzes the gameplay and comes to the description based on events that occurred. It's actually really simple. Here, let me help you. Player, um, analyze player stats. Was I the only one doing generators the entire match? Yes. Wait for the kit, the, the, the lockout. Second conditions. Did killer only attack me and me alone? Or, or me, or me the most? Wait for a lockout. Third, did killer come to me within the first five seconds of the match and down me out of nowhere? Waiver of the lockout. Simple. That, that's literally the, the simple conditions to put into your system to prevent unfair lockouts. So yeah, this is a rant video. I'm aggravated. You don't want to watch it? You want to thumbs down it? Go for it. I do not give a shit. I'm venting here to lessen my nerves and keep myself from snapping. So, yes, whatever you want to do, do it. 
This is Desaya, signing off.